Prince Harry and Meghan Markle forced to travel with tight security on their honeymoon. No one's safe, not even Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, apparently. According to Radar Online, British officials are so worried the Taliban will ruin the royal couple's Canadian honeymoon that they hired intense security, including a crew of submachine gun toting officers to protect them on their travels. Prince Harry previously served in the British Army and has admitted he blew Taliban extremists to pieces during his 2012 stint in Afghanistan. If there's people trying to do bad stuff to our guys, then we'll take them out of the game, I suppose, the 33-year-old has said. Take a life to save a life. The squadron's been out here. Everyone's fired a certain amount. It's been rumored that Meg and Harry are currently on their honeymoon but they originally had to postpone the trip to celebrate Prince Charles' 70th birthday. However, the first leg of the vacation allegedly started in the Cotswold district in England. Although we see more police around now, they are a wonderful addition to the community, a source told the news outlet. They've been on romantic dates to the local pub and hidden themselves away at a quiet corner table. They added, that said, their security team is usually on a table nearby which probably kills the romance a bit. The royal couple is now allegedly staying in Banff, Canada. The hotel has become a fortress. An insider complained to Radar. There is a strict no-photo policy and all the surrounding rooms have been booked. It's super intense. Fans can't be too surprised about the tight security measures put in place for their honeymoon. The security for Harry and Meghan's royal wedding on May 19 was amongst the largest in there. History. It was also reported that the cost of security for their nuptials was $42 million. Talk about protection.